Hey, good morning everyone. It's me, Ruby Collins, and um, it's about, well, I got I got up much earlier, but it's right now 6 o'clock, Mexico time, and Mexico time, I mean, well, whatever time this is. It's 6 o'clock, and it's probably 6, 7, 9 o'clock your time, Eastern Standard Time. Um, I arrived safely. Um, it was a little bit of a wait because... By the time the plane arrived, which was much later than expected, um, the people who were supposed to pick me up were not there or had to make other arrangements because something about the border and it being having a lot of traffic, which they said it was hard to come over, it's hard to get there, something like that. But I'm thinking hard. I'm thinking it was like some kind of violence happening, you know, some shooting going on, shootouts. But, you know. That's just what they meant was that the traffic would be very heavy during that time, um, which I found strange because it was late, you know, but that's the case. That was, you know, what they said. And I'm here now. I arrived safely. A wonderful young lady came and picked me up and she was very excited about see me, meeting me. And um, I didn't even, you know, I was so tired that I didn't get to really record the drive from the airport to and into Mexico, where it has this huge sign that says, Welcome to Mexico, or Mexico, or something like that. But I'm at my hotel, and I want to set up the internet so that I can continue to vlog and, and share my experience, my journey. Um, yesterday, the, the, the last, yesterday, or that morning, somewhere the day before, um, Dr. Sabi, if you guys don't know who he is, and I'm sure most of you probably do, and if you don't, you should, was killed, or, yeah, he was killed. I mean, he died, but he was in the hands of the authorities who arrested him, and he died. I just, I just know he's an amazing person, but I can't give you all the facts about what he's done and how many people and how many lives he's touched, but you're going to have to look that up for yourself. Dr. Sabi, S-E-B-I. Um, you want better health? You want to get rid of that diabetes, that asthma, that this, whatever it is that you're going through, get rid of inflammation. Watch these videos, Dr. Sabi and others who are doing holistic and natural treatment. I believe in it. <laughs> I am struggling with it. I'm going to be honest with you. I'm really struggling with the natural and the conventional. In September, I'll be having surgery to deal with this all. But I wanted to get away so that I could deal with it naturally and not even that but my entire body because prior to the cancer I had a thyroid not a fibroid fibroid which I do have a small fibroid but which it doesn't bother me so I'm not worried about that but I am now concerned about it because I know what to do about it naturally so I'm looking at the overall functioning of my body my immune system There's always been a suspicion that the two diseases are related to each other, um, and I definitely see it in my patients. A lot of thyroid cancer patients come in with a history of breast cancer. And so um, one of the main findings of the study is that, yes, there is an increased risk for the development of thyroid cancer after breast cancer. Um, I found that the highest risk are among younger patients. Um, in addition, more of these patients uh, receive adjuvant radiation therapy, um, but I still think that adjuvant radiation therapy does contribute to the story, um, because if you kind of put it all together, younger patients with smaller invasive cancers are likely going to be treated with breast conservation therapy and that's only made possible with adjuvant radiation therapy. Um, but I don't think that it explains the whole story because when you look at the thyroid cancer that then develops in these patients and you compare it to the thyroid cancer that develops in the general population. And I believe it's possible and it can happen for all of us. I can, I believe it. We just got to start having the faith, building that faith. The same way how I have faith in all, everything else that I do, my music, I know that if I taught myself this, I was going to become a teacher. I knew if I sang on the police department, I kept singing I was going to go to the White House. I knew that, um, you know, I always know if I do something and act on it, I'm going to get a result.
you know, and a positive result. So everything in my life has been a lesson for me to see that when I do something and I say, I speak it, it manifests itself. <sighs> so, uh, yeah. Hey guys, so I, you know, I'm so on this, I'm so obsessed and know so much about, have learned so much about natural healing, medicinal things that we need to imply to our lives that this morning as I'm getting ready to get prepared to uh, head over to the uh, center, I realized I forgot to bring soap and I'm like, oh my gosh, I didn't bring soap. And, uh, but I came in here, I was brushing my, yeah, brushed my teeth, and I'm using turmeric powder to brush my teeth. So I brought a bag of turmeric, because I know that cum is cucumin, cucumin. If you don't know anything about turmeric, please, it will save your life. Okay, whatever little that I learn, and I'm learning along my journey here, I want to share with you guys, because... It's amazing. Nevertheless, I forgot to bring soap. Am I gonna bathe with uh, turmeric? I don't know, it might be a possibility, but I certainly know I want to wash my face. And uh, they have a little soap here, from the hotel soap, and I'm like, okay. And I said, you know what, turmeric. I remember watching a video that turmeric is great for your skin. So this video is to share with you. This is a turmeric video. I now buy the root. You should be drinking it, eating it, applying it to everything that you do in your daily regimen in terms of food and also maybe you know, washing your skin, your face with it, um, brushing your teeth with turmeric. I no longer use um, soap that has fluoride in it. I mean, soap. Toothpaste with fluoride in it because it's killing us, people. We are dying because of all the things that we have been... Uh, accustomed to doing and conditioned to use and just it's normal to us it's not normal it's normal because it allows us to go to the doctor and have all these ill ailments that now we have to receive medicine for and the doctors are making money it's okay everybody has to make money but you know if God gave us natural um, natural heal healing products from the earth that we can use. So my point in this video is that I am brushing my teeth with turmeric, washing my face this morning with turmeric, and when I get into it, because, you know, I'll be here for three weeks, I'm going to, uh, you know, probably end up washing my entire body with turmeric powder. I have a whole bunch of turmeric powder here, so I don't have to spend any money on buying soap. Yeah, love you all. Um, keep me in your prayers. Encouraging to share the donate uh, my GoFundMe page. Um, your donations are so important to me. Um, this is not, again, I always keep saying this is not about me, and that's why I'm sharing it with the world, because it's not about me. It's just that I can help each and every one of you become a better person, healthy you know, in your health and in your lifestyle, because I've been doing it wrong. You know, I thought I was doing it right, because I know you guys will look at me and say, oh, Ruby, breast cancer? Oh, my gosh. She's skinny. She exercises. She plays tennis. She does... <gasps> Mm -mm -mm. See, that's why I don't trust nothing. But you know what? We're not doing it right. So I'm the poster girl for it can happen to anyone, anybody. So before it can happen to you, let's take action before. Let's do something about our health and let's take control of our health. Take our, take our control back. Not let outside influences tell you what you should be eating, what looks good, what tastes good, and what's going to make you feel better. It's natural. It's the earth that will make us feel better. And so you guys know that I also make wigs, right? And I brought this wig with me today. This is the only one. This is, I made this wig for someone else, but I never got around to getting it to her. And uh, I just knew that I'd end up wearing it. And I just thought it had that nice little kind of a curly, curly. All righty. That's it about the hair. Don't forget the turmeric, right? I wash my face with turmeric and it looks great. Kind of yellow, but alrighty.
Yeah, let me tell you, this morning I was sitting here and something said, Ruby, get on that laptop and figure out where, this, where the location is from the hotel. The moment that I pressed enter and the information started coming up, the gentleman from the, um, this, the uh, center texted me at the exact same time saying, walk out of the hotel, turn to the left, there's a glass door, and walk three blocks down or whatever. He was giving me directions to the hotel. I was like, how crazy is that? Like, it's not crazy because it happens to me all the time. That's why I'm here in Mexico, because I get that, you know, that... I get that all the time. You know, that thing where you're connecting. You're connecting with the universe or God has allowed you to connect at the same time to reach out to someone. And um This is frankincense. Frankincense. Frankincense oil. I had bought so much of this oil. I bought so many bottles of it, not knowing the healing properties and the medicinal purposes that frankincense oil is used for. I don't know if you know, but you also need to look that up. It's amazing the purposes. So I don't know all about it, but I will certainly just encourage you to Google it, look it up. I will also post it at some point. But I, how ironic is it that I would buy like four or five bottles of it and um, and not realize that in, inhaling it, smelling it. I'm looking for the lotion. Give me a minute. Okay, everyone. I just wanted to, um, I don't remember what I was talking about, but I have to pause. I was looking for the lotion. Okay, I found the lotion. I'm even also concerned about putting various lotions on my skin. Oh, we were talking about the frankincense. It's like it smells amazing. And you know how you inhale certain things they don't want you inhaling? Like, um, for example, like, I have roaches. And, and every now and then I'll be spraying a roach spray and I'm thinking that scent, I'm inhaling it, can't be healthy. It's not healthy. That hairspray, inhaling those things, it affects you and, and, and it creates toxins in your system. So uh, there was a story of a, there's a story online and you can find so many of them. But because they're not going to talk about natural stuff. So they're not going to promote the natural things. This oil, frankincense. She had brain Allison Weish was diagnosed with brain cancer at the tender age of 13, and she used frankincense oil to treat it. Here's her amazing story. I walked out of the waiting room about an hour later to see my mom, who had just hung up the phone um, with tears in her eyes. And she told me, she said, Allison, you have a brainstem tumor. Um, and I didn't know quite what that meant. You know, I was 13 years old. I just started junior high school a couple weeks prior. Um, but I knew at that moment that my life would be different from there on out. Um, so we immediately went to go see my doctor, to my pediatric neurologist, um, and he showed my parents what the tumor was. Um, basically, it was a brainstem tumor, pilocytic astrocytoma is what it was, um, about the size of an egg, and it rested on my brainstem. So that next day, I was scheduled for emergency surgery, and um, they were able to get rid of about half my tumor. It was very interesting. Um, my doctor told me, eat all the calories you can. If you'll eat pizza, if you'll eat ice cream, because I was very skinny, he's like, just get calories in you, whatever you'll take. But in our research, we learned how nutrition was so important. I needed to give my body good calories to help support good healthy weight gain, support the cell so I would function better. And then we started doing research on what to do. And of course, many people were pushing us to go see our radiologist and go that direction. Um, my mom and I, we did go meet with our radiologist. And I still to this day remember sitting in that room um, the feelings that I felt in there. I, it, it was very cold. It was very cold. It was not what I wanted to do. And I actually left that appointment and I grabbed my mom's hand and I told my mom, mom, this isn't this process for me. And so she said she had also felt the same way. But we left that radiologist appointment knowing 
we need something else. Um, and that's where we were really drawn towards essential oils. Um, they kept coming across in a lot of our research. We noticed how essential oils did incredible things. There's medical studies out there showing what essential oils can do. Um, and in particular with essential oils, we were really drawn towards frankincense essential oil. Um, I love frankincense oil, it's a very powerful oil. I think there's a reason why it's called liquid gold or why it's one of the oils that the Christ child was given. It's a very, very precious oil. Um, so I use a lot of oils. I use a lot of frankincense oil. I also use clove oil. How did you take it? Did you ingest it or did you rub it on your skin? Yeah. Or did you do the aromatherapy? How did you do that? You know, it was really interesting how we did it. So I did do it back here where my scar is, um, but I don't know how effective that was because you do have a very thick skull. But one way that I did, and this was probably the way that was most consistent is, is I always put a drop of frankincense oil on my tongue and raise the tongue to the roof of my mouth. And I did that probably about every two hours because I figured, hey, that's probably the closest way I can get to my brain stem without interfering with bones or things like that. And a lot of blood vessels there too to absorb. Mm -hmm. right. A lot of blood vessels, so just a lot internal. What happened was actually quite incredible. So um, I started to gain health pretty quickly. Um, like I said, I started junior high school and then I was diagnosed three weeks later. Um, so I came home and started to regain health after my surgery. Um, I was able to start school again with my peers the next semester. Um, and that, that was pretty incredible. That's quick for a brain tumor. You know what, it was interesting. I was only in the hospital for about a week and a half. Most people are in there for about six weeks. Mm -hmm. But once I had my tumor, we started on good nutrition. We started on oils and I just had an amazing recovery. And that took about three years. Okay. Took about three years, I would go see him. Um, but every time I'd go see him, it just slowly was improving. It wasn't dramatic overnight. It, it was a slow, gradual process, but it took about three years. Um, and I remember the point where I went to go see my neurologist and he told me, you have no more tumor. Really? It was completely disintegrated. Wow. What, what, what did you feel like at that point? You know what? Words can't describe. It was just like such an emotional relief. Mm. Um, you know, I had been praying and I wanted my tumor to go away. And I was like, you know, I need another chance of life. And so when those words were said, it was invigorating. It was like I had a new life again. Right. You know, I, w I wanted to go to college. I wanted to become a registered dietitian. I wanted to tell people my story. Mm -hmm. And when I was told those words, it was like, this happened. Um, and that was at the age of 16 then? That was about, yeah, the age of 16, okay. 17 is when that, that happened. Okay. So um, ever since then, my health has just been improving. Oh my gosh, you need to smell this. I do not mind smelling this all day long. So I'm putting a little on my neck. <sighs> Inhaling this. Inhaling it helps you. I, I can't tell you how exactly because it's, it's natural, but you need to look it up and... Oh, I can put the phone right there and and do your research. Like I need to head over here. So I'm not sure how they're gonna be about cameras. I'm uh, you know I'm bringing the cameras with me and I want us all to learn together. I want to share with you with what I'm learning. All right, guys. Love you. She's going to pick me up. And they told me she'd be coming. She, they told me she'd be coming. And she did come, and, and she drove really fast. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Which was, I guess, normal. Okay. And it was like, okay, and... Uh, and I, and I just prayed that she was taking me to the place, but she was so friendly, she was warm, she was polite, she was nice. Jose is normally the one that is there, but because mm -hmm. they, yeah, uh, yeah, three times, other, yeah, we had to get the, get off the plane three times, the first time fuel, first time, second time, just so many different things, and that delayed the plane. Well, I'm glad you're here. <laughs> yes, yes, so am I, I was happy about that. Okay, Ruby. Well, we will start with these forms. Uh, we have the form in Spanish and in English. Okay. English is uh, this is a translation of this one in Spanish mm -hmm. because we're in Mexico.
basically we need this one to be filled out. Uh, but you can read first, and then I can guide you to fill this. Okay. 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 So get out, put some forward, and then fill it. Hey guys, um, so the first few hours of the morning was about just kind of getting information and receiving information what I had to do, what's going on, payment, um, rules and rights, put it that way. And they put a capacitor in my arm here, so you see that, for blood. And fluid, so they wanted to do some blood, take tests, and to administer fluids later on. And uh, I'll see how the rest of the day goes. I've met some cool people already, and um, wish me luck. Keep me in your prayers. Hepatitis C, anything like that. Yeah. Surgeries? Have you had surgeries in the past? Uh, Ten years ago, I had a lump removed from here. Mm -hmm. My left breast. Um, On the left breast. Left breast, I had mm -hmm. a lump removed. That's ten years ago. I had a carcinoid tumor removed from my colon. Mm -hmm. Ten years ago, it was benign. And um, surgery. That's all I can remember. Okay. Uh, broken bones? Yeah. And uh, for the uh, MSO, potentiation therapy would be 17 relief. Potential? The MSO, potentiation therapy, basically is going to carry the B17, which is an anti cancer agent, natural anti cancer agent. Mm -hmm to the cancer sites, okay? okay? We're going to be doing it three times a week. We are going to do another therapy that is called whole body hyperthermia. We want to increase body temperature to around 104 Fahrenheit. We are going to do it two times a week. We want to make sure that you are, we want to make sure that you are, the cancer cells that might be circulating in your, in your system are destroyed, okay? Mm -hmm. Stem cells, we want to stimulate your immune system to fight the cancer, to recognize that there's a cancer growing. So we're going to do this stem cell treatment. Newcastle viral vaccine. Newcastle? Newcastle, Newcastle. okay? Mm -hmm. It's a virus right. that it's going to infect cancer cells. That's how your immune system will be able to recognize the cancer, okay? okay? We are going to do it once a week as well. We are going to do another therapy Ruby that is called sonodynamic treatment. We are going to give you something called porphyrins. These porphyrins will have affinity for cancer cells and they are reactive to an ultrasound frequency. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna give you the porphyrins every morning then we're going to give you a, a, an ultrasound frequency to the cancer area. This will uh, destroy the cancer, okay? Mm -hmm. Or any possibility of cancer in that area. Okay. We're going to do the ultrasound for eight minutes. 
We are going to do local hyperthermia, meaning that any cancer that, that or any tumor that might be in the breast area, we want to destroy. Mm -hmm. So we want to we want to heat it to around 106. We are going to use short wave uh, heat therapy for that. We're going to do it for 30 minutes. We're going to do it far infrared for 35 minutes. These are just different forms of heat, okay? Mm -hmm. Basically, this is very superficial, so we won't have any problem accessing the nodule areas, okay? Mm -hmm. We are going to do laser treatment as well, and we're going to do biomagnetics. All of these are different types of heats, okay? Okay. Rife is bioresonance. I'm going to give you specific frequencies of resonance specific against breast cancer, Ruby. Uh, we're going to give you with this machine, we're going to be able to give you these frequencies that will destroy cancer anywhere in your system. Okay? Mm -hmm. Ultraviolet. You said that it won't be or it will be? Will destroy. Will, will, yeah, destroy, will destroy cancer. Yes. Everything that will be that we are going to do here as therapy goes is to boost the immune system but also destroy possibility of cancer in your breast area. Okay? okay. We are going to do ultraviolet irradi uh, blood irradiation therapy. We're going to do it once a week. And this will be to increase oxygen in your body, ozone. Okay, mm -hmm. we want to make sure that there's a, a lot of oxygen in your system. Detox with Rife, we're going to be doing it three times a week. We want to detoxify your liver. We want to detoxify your lymphatics. Normally, when there's a cancer process, there's a lot of toxins in your system, okay? Mm -hmm. So we are trying to make sure that this comes out. Okay. And Beamer, it's another treatment that we do to increase oxygen availability in your body, okay? Beamer? Beamer. B-E-M-E-R, -E okay? Mm -hmm. It is a therapy that is going to stimulate your um, detox and oxygen, hyperoxygenation process. I'm just going to call the nurse, okay? Okay. Alita, vienes por Ruby? Thank you. Bye. Okay. And uh, everything should be fine. Um, but we'll have the report of your blood work and everything tomorrow, so... Um, and the blood work will tell what? Cancer marker. Cancer marker. Yeah, and it will be also showing me your liver and kidney function. It will tell me electrolytes and how is your whole system working. Okay. Okay. okay? Um, any questions that you have right now? Any questions yeah. that you might have right now? Are you the gentleman in, in the in the on the website? Uh, on my website, yes. Yes, you. Yes. Why? <laughs> I don't look the no, same. No, because you look like that person. So oh. it's like, oh, that's the only <laughs> thing I'm... Actually, I'm Dr. Bautista Ruby. Yes, absolutely. That's the only thing I'm thinking about. He looks just like the guy at the website. Well, it is me, actually. <laughs> it is my website. Yeah, it's nice.